We have a wonderful coach, one of the best in the world, training us, Dan Paff. And uh, because of him, many of the athletes, oh, probably over half, have come here specifically for him. And, and, and yeah, if he, if he can no longer stay after the Olympics, if our fundraising doesn't come through, then the majority of those athletes will leave. Well, right now we're in a financial cash flow difficulty, so uh, we're pretty good through the trials, and I think that we'll get some help uh, through Beijing, and after that it's pretty much up to you. People that could be in position to help donate are really watching their money. A lot of the small, local, and regional businesses and corporations that we've talked to giving plans are mapped out years ahead or um, they have better causes than we do. You know, I'm not gonna ask someone to stop donating the Boys and Girls Club or the YMCA over our program. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times it gets into the logistics of the money chase. I think with moderate funding, we could have up to about 40 elite athletes here. I need a little bit of help with a therapist and assistant coach. And then our outreach into the community, helping high schools and junior highs and, and masters. You know, we have several masters athletes who train here. Well, this has been a dream come true to train with 20, 25 kids that are highly motivated, the best of the best in this country, that are committed, that get along, that are all under one roof. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that as a coach.